you know, normally you would start, take the sting out of the game, and then if you're still in the game, then get your more attacking players. Well, at the top of the Premier League, it's a case of mind the gap, which is now so wide to have the same effect on West Brom. It's only his fourth game in charge, and Ben Foster's clean sheet against Liverpool in midweek provided encouragement that they can climb the table. The back four were organised and solid at Anfield, so not surprisingly, Pardew keeps the same defence today. No changes either in midfield, where Claudio Jakob, restored to the starting 11 by the new manager, plays a key role. In fact, the only change from Wednesday night is in attack, where Scotland international Oliver Burke makes his first start for West Brom in place of Hal robson Carnu. Gareth Barry is back from injury and on the bench. Jose Mourinho has cut a frustrated figure in recent weeks, with Manchester City disappearing over the horizon even though David De Gea and his teammates have won five of their last six games. One change in the back four from the midweek victory over Bournemouth, Ashley Young returns at left-back in place of Luke Shaw. In front of them, there's a starting role for Ander Herrera, Scott Tomenay drops down to the bench, and Marcus Rashford returns to the starting 11 to add an extra threat to the attack, led as usual by Romelu Lukaku. Anthony Martial is among the United substitutes. Their worst run of results in the club's history and a false start today, ordered by referee Anthony Taylor. Now, Quan here, he's still got a couple of key players out injured. Because Lukaku and Rashford combining well. First real threat on that West Brom goal. And the back heel sets McLean free. Support arriving in the middle. Well, it went way beyond Burke. Maxim him all the way, doesn't get under the ball, goes back in with him. Oh, yeah. McClay. Rondon in the middle comes to meet it, did he commit the foul? Rashford. It's a good cross, Lukaku! <laughs> Superb header! And the pace is on the cross, and Lukaku's header is fantastic. He's absolutely no chance, Ben Foster makes a difficult game for West Brom and it's just he's got no space Lukaku no space at all he did well earlier on Gibbs when he stopped the run of Lukaku but he allows him inside him and that was simple and it was that little breakthrough from midfield from Matic and just starts off the attack and he just put West Brom in a situation where they weren't quite set so much more difficult now just glides it into the corner Lukaku brilliant finish Two in two. Ball thought better of it in the end. Neon did well. Rondon meets it at the near post. And got Sean the pace for the first time. Really, he's got Rondon in support as well. But, uh, this is a different West Brom, a different United. Mark uh, Amata playing it on there to Lingard. Again, it's Matic, he breaks the line, steps into a position that West Brom don't accept him, expect him. I said, go and kill the game off if you're Manchester United. As he probably knows that he just has done. It's a deflection, a wicked one. And now, Manchester United find themselves two goals for the good, ten minutes before half-time. marked by Hagazi near the penalty spot. Oh, Foster with a very unfortunate punch there that uh, back again to Livermore. The crowd urging him to shoot, which he does. And the hair held it at the second attempt. And Rashford kicks him out, but the flag has gone up anyway. Offside. In goals the season he was on loan here at West Bromwich Albion. It's still a club record for them in the Premier League. Smith closes him down. Good ball, though. Oh, and both. It's a brilliant ball in. That's a second Rondon, baby. Agazi under pressure from Rashford. Just confirming the uh, Rashford just sort of steps towards him. Competing, he does well the defender to get his body across. There's just a little bit of a... Lukaku one side of Lingard, Matt the other. Here's Lukaku, gets it back. Oh, it was a super move. Gets the cross in, Lingard there, so too is Rashford. Oh, right behind that. 
initially thought it was going in, but he did come back in January to do good business in the transfer window, but he's done his hamstring and so recently after a long spell out with a knee injury as well. Quite a lot of empty seats in the West Brom end. Here's Rondon. Rematch into he needs to try and get more chances. But now he's made it an interesting last 10-15 minutes. There's too much space in there, it's just going to steal the ball, and Gareth Barry helps it. I was just going to say, United in this last two or three minutes have been a little lax. They haven't been as aggressive in the defending, and it's cost them. And of all people, it's Gareth Barry, who's brought West Bromwich Albion back into it. Evans a threat, he's scored a lot of goals from uh, corner kicks over the years. Has replaced Marcus Rashford. That's probably champion at the moment than at any time in the game. The cross finds Rodriguez! Wow. And it's been scrambled off the line. And in the end, De Gea is the man who left directly on the ball. And it's all going off a little bit back tempered after that scramble. He's not happy about something, De Gea. He's holding his left hand ankle. Lukaku. And he finished West Bromwich Albion off here. 